please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. The commands .get status output function is part of the Python commands module, which is designed for running shell commands and capturing their output. It returns both the standard output of the command and its exit status code. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to use commands .get status output to execute shell commands and interpret the status code. Note, the commands module is not available in Python 3. It was available in Python 2, but it has been removed in Python 3. If you are using Python 3, you should use the subprocess module instead. Start by importing the commands module in your Python script. The commands.get status output function allows you to execute a shell command and capture its standard output and exit status code. Here's how to use it. In the above code snippet, the exit status code provides information about the success or failure of the command. A status code of zero typically indicates success, while non-zero values indicate an error or failure. You can check the status code and act accordingly in your Python script. You can also access the standard output of the executed command stored in the output variable. Here's how you can print it. Here's a complete example demonstrating how to use commands.getStatusOutput. This script will run the lsl command and display both the exit status code and the standard output. The commands.getStatusOutput function in Python allows you to execute shell commands and interpret their exit status codes. This can be particularly useful when you need to automate tasks that involve command line operations. However, keep in mind that this module is deprecated in Python 2 and not available in Python 3 so you should consider using the subprocess module for similar functionality in Python 3. ChatGPT